I was I was sitting here at the house yesterday morning. <laughs> Granny Moon called. Bless her heart. She's 105 years old now. But sharp as a tack. She still got a good mind. Anyway, she called. <clears throat> I said, hello. She said, baby, what you doing? I said, Granny, I ain't doing nothing. What are you doing? She said, oh, baby, don't feel good. I just don't feel good. Bless your heart, Granny. What is going on? Well, my back is killing me, and I'm afraid to, it might be some kind of kidney infection. And I ain't been to the doctor in 30 years. I ain't even got no doctor. Ain't you got a good doctor? I said, yeah, Granny, I got, the, oh, I've got the best. You reckon that your doctor will, will see me? Oh, today I'm, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, baby. I said, let me call you back. I'll call over there and, and see if they can slip you in today. <clears throat> so I hung up and I called my doctor, feel more pain. And uh, they said, yeah, bring her on up here and we'll work her in. I said, what time? And they said, 10 o'clock. I said, we'll be there. Hung up, called Granny back. Granny? Yes, baby. I said, my doctor said he'd see you today. I need to come get you. We're going to be over there at 10 o'clock. Thank you, baby. I'll be ready. So I took off over and I got, I got Granny in the car and we went over to the doctor's office. Went in there and she signed in and we sat down in the waiting room. A few minutes, this little old nurse stuck her head through the door there and said, Miss Moon, we're ready for you. And so she got up, hobbled on back there to the examinating room, and I just, I, I stayed in the waiting room. Well, about 10 minutes, Granny come back, sat down beside of me. I said, Granny, did you find out anything? She said, they, uh, they running some tests, and uh, the doctor said it'd be about an hour I'd just well to come back out here and, and, and sit with you and just rest, and, and they'll let me know. I said, well, that's good. She said, he scared me. Granny, what happened? You wouldn't believe it. Well, you know, by the time I, I got back there and, and sat down, he already knew my name, who I was married to, where I lived, where I used to work, all my kids and all my grandkids. It just scared me to death. I said, Granny, he probably Googled you. He said, no, he never touched me. 